hello hello everyone my name is Bessie and this is Budgets with Bess if you're a subscriber welcome back love having you here and if you're not I hope you are in the next minute or so obviously the setup is a little different we're toning it down for November for just a couple videos because I'm still figuring out how I want the setup to look for December we have this for right now so I hope everyone is okay with it we're just going real simple it, was, it took me like two minutes to set up today which is a lot shorter than it's been for the past month or so. Today we're getting into our savings challenges and our savings challenges only. So that is what you're gonna see here today. So this is a sneak peek to my next video, but this is gonna be my new cash wallet. I have this that I bought from Daiso. So if you have a Daiso in your area, let us know in the comments. And I got this bank slip from a recent purchase for a saving challenge that I purchased, which you'll see later, but I'm gonna be using this bank slip and this pouch to kind of go to the bank and take all my money. Let's go ahead and put this to the side because we're not gonna need it right now and count the cash. All right, here's the cash that we're gonna be stuffing. Let's do a quick count. 50, 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 380, 390, 400, 10, 20, five. So $425, which is probably the most I've ever done for savings challenges, I think, yeah. The reason for that is I paid off a card. Um, I still have a lot of debt on another card, but what I decided was I'm just gonna throw, instead of, I was paying 350 for that card, I'm using the debt snowball method, so I'm gonna be taking that 300 and applying it to my next highest card that I have. I have two cards left to pay off, and I decided I was just gonna throw an extra 50 towards saving challenges because I'm paying my debt off twice a month, you know, 350 each time. I feel like I can take a little step back and put some more money into some savings challenges, which go to paying debt anyways. I, it's probably better to actually just pay the debt but this is more fun and keeps me motivated. The next thing is we're gonna go ahead and unstuff our cash wallet, Luisa. So let's start with her. And I'm gonna put these ones aside because I'll let you guys know what they, they're for in a little bit. Gas has five rollover. I'm gonna put the rollover money here because I don't wanna mix it up with the rest of my money. Food has nothing, giving has one. Spending has nothing, personal care has money rolled over, Noah has some money in it as well, but if you subscribe and check out my next video, you'll see what is in those envelopes and how much is in them. Let me put this to the side and I have some change, I believe. I actually don't think I have a lot of change. I'm gonna keep it in here. I like to keep a good amount of change with me, but what I do remember is that I stashed a $10 bill in here because I got it back and I wanted to use this for a saving challenge. So for my rollover saving challenge, I'm gonna put this to the side and then we'll count the singles right here. All right, these singles is one, two, three, four, five, six. So $6 uh, that I'm putting here to the side. And I there's a little story of why I have $6. It's because it's cash that I was given by my coworkers or my staff to go buy lotto tickets yesterday. It's I'm filming this on a Tuesday. I'd like to update everyone and let them know that I am still, in fact, not a Powerball winner and I am still poor. I'm playing, I'm not not poor but you know like i am not a billionaire but i have these six dollars to provide comfort in knowing that i did not win the two million apparently two billion two billion dollar powerball that one person in california won i don't know why god didn't choose for it to be me but i'm sure there's a good reason so that will go into some saving challenges. Actually, before I forget, no, no, no. Two of these dollars are gonna go into a sinking fund, which uh, will be in the next video. So I'm gonna put this to the side and we'll just get started with the saving challenges. Okay, so we're gonna start with our rollover money. And so in our dollars, let's see how much we actually have. So we have one, two, three, four, five dollars. Hmm, let's see. I'm gonna save two for a different challenge and I'm gonna add three into my rollover dollar challenge here. I'm gonna color off three little piggies. One, two, three. Then I'm gonna go ahead into my $5 challenge. We had one five roll over, add it here. So what I'm gonna try and do is be more intentional. Like if I get a $10 back, I'm gonna save it. If I get a $5 back, I'm gonna save it. I'm not gonna do it with every $5, every $10 that I get, but I feel at least it'll for sure add something to this binder each week. And I'm gonna go ahead and color this off. So five, 
And then here is for my $10, which is right here. And then put that in there. And I'm gonna mark that off. And we can get into our next saving challenge, which is the 100 envelope challenge. Our 100 envelope challenge is gonna get 80 today. So 50, 70, 80. And let's take all this money out. I'm gonna go ahead and color it off before I forget. So our, our 80 is already uh, marked off. So I'm just gonna add an extra dollar in this challenge and just mark off the 79. This pink right here is driving me nuts. Let me see if I can color over it. Yes, okay, that works. And now I only have 71 and 72 left to finish kind of like the most highest denominations and then I'll be working on my 60s and then I'll kind of do a mix of multiple envelopes after that. But let's go ahead and count how much we have so far in our 100 envelope challenge. And also raise your hand if you've been personally victimized by this 100 envelope challenge. I actually really love it. If this was the only saving challenge I would do, I would have been completing it, but my myself don't listen to myself, so I like to do a lot of saving challenges. But we are gonna try and hit this one a little bit harder in the next couple of months because we are trying to use this for a big trip in February. And yeah, okay. So let's make sure, oh, there it goes. So I have 3,000 and I hit, ugh. I meant to say we have 3,000 in high yield savings currently accruing interest right here. So 3,000, 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, 450, 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, 650, 660, 665. So three thousand six hundred and sixty five yeah god i hope i count that right or i hope i remember let's put that back and i feel like if i complete all the 70s and the 60s then i might be actually close to a thousand at that point or at least the next thousand i don't know me and math don't always see eye to eye but anywho, we're gonna move on to our Christmas challenge, which we're trying to finish soon. I marked off, or I scratched off more than I could chew. And so I'm gonna actually put in, let's see how much, 90. So 50 into 20s. And I scratched off this 50, which I is kind of like the IOU. So the next time I get paid, I'm gonna go ahead and put on this 50, but I will scratch off something to see what else. Cause I also wanna finish this. We're almost done with this challenge. I did not do a bill exchange for this challenge because this will be used as money for my Christmas binder stuffing, which I hope to do soon. But in Christmas, so it's not just this challenge, but it was a previous one back here as well, which got mixed up between fives and tens. This one will be a $500 challenge. But in here we have 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 450, 470, 490, 5. 10, 530, 550, 570, 590, 600, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So 645 in here so far. Okay, 645. Let's go ahead and scratch off another, another one for next time. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and mark off the rest of that 50 because we know for sure we're gonna have to stuff that ni modo, right? No, no matter what, I have to stuff that 50. And let's do one more gem or one more scratch off. God, I hope it's not another 50. Okay, I'm gonna do this one down here. 20, right? Yes, I can do 20. So next time, oops, sorry for the shaking table, nothing I can do about that, y'all. But next time, we're going to stuff 70 in here. And then one more pay at the end, this will be my 22nd of November paycheck, right? I'm gonna figure it out, I'm gonna figure it out. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. But that's it for my Christmas saving challenge. Now we have, oh, here we have one more Christmas saving challenge, which is our spooky savings, which went perfectly with my Nightmare Before Christmas setup that I had in my last series. So check that out and put it here in the cards if you guys want. And I'm gonna be stuffing 50 in here and I don't know why I did the denominations as two 20s and a 10, but that's what I did. And we're gonna, each of these are $10, so I'm gonna mark off five of these. So one, two, three, four, five. So 
I'm gonna dry that a little bit. Okay, it is dry and we're gonna go ahead and add this to this challenge right here. Actually, before I do anything, because I love combining envelopes for challenges. I don't know why, I just do put this here to the side because I have another, have another challenge that I wanna show everyone. All right, I wanna show you the new challenge that I got from Mystic Budget. So if you don't know who she is, go check out her channel. I will be linked in the description box and also her challenge for November is called Cozy Vibes. It's to save $80. I love these small challenges too. I'm actually gonna do 30 for this one. So I'm gonna put that here. I'm combining this one, my Nightmare Before Christmas one, because this will pay back a card in like at the end of November if I accrue anything, right? So I'll just, yeah, it'll just be an extra debt payment. But I'm doing 30, which means I'm doing all three of these candles, uh, two of these little uh, hot drinks, and because I have two for my rollover, I'm gonna do one of these little, I'm gonna do a sweater. So let me do that real quick. I'm gonna color them in. So we are stuffing a total of 32. I'm gonna put this right here to the side for a second. And let's go ahead and count what we have so far in this combined savings challenge. Let's see, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, uh, 110, 120, 121, 122. So 122 so far in here. These I'm trying to aim to finish at the end of November too. And I most likely will be throwing some extra money at it if I get a bonus check from YouTube or not. Yeah, that's it for this binder. Let's go ahead into my next binder. Here in my next binder, we have most of our scratch off challenges. And in my pink X budgets, I was supposed to put 40. So let me grab that. Is anyone else doing this? I know like uh, some of us had it. I don't know if a lot of people are still working on it or not, but let me know in the comments if you have the pink X budget scratch off. This was the first scratch off I've ever bought. And that was back in December, January. So it's been almost a year and I'm almost done with it, which I'm really excited about. So far in it, we have 500 in a high yield savings, six, seven, 750, right? Yeah, 770, 790, 810, 830, 850, 860. So 860 in here. And Let's scratch off what we need to do for next time. So we're almost done, just a couple more gems. I'm gonna scratch off two gems here. So 20 and 25, so 45 in our challenge next time. And again, then we only have one, two, three, four more gems. Just super exciting. All right, now we're gonna start off with our hands and bands. Oh yeah, I put money in. Oh my God, I like don't know what I'm doing. All right, here we're gonna put in the rest of it for October, which was 75 okay so we are done with october and let's go ahead and start for november and see what we're going to stuff in it let me grab it i think it's in the back yep here it goes okay and go ahead and take your drama me now because i need to scratch off these Okay, I'm only gonna scratch off four because they were each 20 something each, right? That's like 80 something dollars right there. So I like to push myself. I'm not gonna do that this time. I'm not gonna do it this time. So $80 the next time. Again, this challenge always goes to paying down my debt, which is fine. I don't mind putting that much in because then it adds to like a lump sum that I get to throw at it at the end of each month too, so that I'm making like three payments a month instead of two. I pay every time I get paid and I know that might not work for some people. Fortunately, it does work for me right now. Our next challenge is our Disney challenge. It's gonna get 10. And for this one, it does have like a tracker, but I only draw in a castle when I've reached uh, like a 50. So now we have 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, which means next time it'll get another 10. And that means I get to mark off another castle. Then we're gonna go into our mini saving challenge with our Hello Kitty. What are we gonna do this time? Okay, we're adding 20 to her. So let me get a cute color. This bow down here. Oh, this is a little bit more pink. Nope, this is, I don't know what this is. It's pinky purple. That's what they get right now. And let's see, let's count. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 
20. And now in this challenge, in our Hello Kitty, or mini saving challenge, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 5, 6, 7. So 107. Oh, wow, this is adding up. I still have like a lot to do. I haven't actually counted how much it's going to be at the end. The next one is one of my favorite ones, which is my Bad Bunny challenge because we love Bad Bunny here. And I'm going to mark off one of these, which I can't find my red Sharpie anywhere for this guy. So I'm just going to do this light pink. There you go. And they're going to get a 20. And now it has 120. And once I'm done, I'm going to just keep doing it again just because 20 is the most reasonable for me right now. I don't know when he's gonna go on tour again. So we have some time to hopefully save for this. That's it for our actual savings challenges. Let me show you guys some happy mail before I do my last saving challenge. One of the happy mails that I wanna share with you guys is from Josie from Simple Plan. So I, here's a few things. One, I want a giveaway from her. Thank you so much, Josie. So again, I'll have her channel and uh, her channel linked in the description. She sent me this really cute, look at this, thank you card. It's so cute. Thank you for checking this 2023 saving challenge. Hope you will love this little happy mail. And I do, but you know what? She sent this, she sent this before. I didn't know what she was sending. So I just didn't know what she was sending. I actually bought this challenge from her from her shop. I have the digital version, but I love this because look what she did for me. She put budgets with best in her, like in, um, in a label maker. I love that. And it comes with the physical one, which I think I'm really getting into like the physical ones that have like the matchy matchy envelope. Not all my challenges come like that, but some of them do. And it's let's save 2020, let's save 2023 in 2023. So I love this. Each number, each letter has a certain amount to get to your goal. I love this amount. I think it's totally doable for my next hard challenge because I probably won't do my 100 envelope challenge next year because I'm gonna need a break. We need a break. It was a break. And I get to have it in here in the envelope. So thank you so much, Josie. I like just appreciate you so much. This was so sweet. Thank you. And I have one more piece of happy and which is also saving challenges. The next one is from Ray's Budget. I think, actually not I think, I know Ray won a giveaway for me when I first started, when I was like a baby budgeter back in the day. So she sent me, I had to open it. You know I had to open it, but she put a little thank you note. And look at this. It's a scratch off, which goes in like how my hands and bands ones is. So this will be perfect for next year. And each month has like the theme, like this is snow, November is like fall leaves, October has the bats and the pumpkins, August, July, like it has the whole year. I love this, oh my God. I love this so much. Thank you, Ray. I appreciate it so much. And each month is like a hundred to like $150 that you save up. I think maybe there's like one, like a 175, maybe not. Oh, there's one that's 75 January. Perfect. And I will definitely be starting these off. So those two are gonna be my big challenges next year. I'm so glad because I wanted to figure out what I was gonna do next year for my saving challenges. I have some more happy mail, but it's actually appropriate for the next video and I'll show you what that is. But yes, thank you so much, Ram. Put this to the side. And our last saving challenge is for my son Noah. It's his little box right here. And I think I was supposed to do like a 10 right here. So this one. And I think at the end, it's like over $400 saved in his, like this little box, which I wanna use to start like a junior investing account for him and also put away for like birthdays or something like that. But that is it, that, that's all the saving challenges. That was probably a lot of them. Thank you all for sticking with me. Please check out my next video, which will be my save day payday where I stuff my cash envelopes and my sinking funds. So thank you all. Have a blessed one. Oh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed the video and you want to subscribe. And don't forget to like and don't forget to leave a comment, even if it's an emoji. It means so much to me. and I love meeting everyone in the community. So yeah, bye.